With less than three months to go until the June primary, some big money and some big accusations are flying in the district attorney's race. New at 6 o'clock, 10 News reporter Melissa Masiha breaks down the donations and the controversy over one donor, a candidate's wife. The money for the district attorney's race is pouring in. Private attorney Robert Brewer has outraised incumbent Bonnie Dumanis. From January to mid March, Brewer raised more than 86,000, Dumanis close to 66,000. So far, Brewer's totals come out to more than half a million dollars raised. His opponent, about 411,000. The fact that the challengers raised more than the incumbents says a lot. With a couple months left, I think clearly both campaigns are going to concentrate on getting much more. Money. But some Dumana supporters are criticizing the money going into defeating her. On the deputy DA's for Dumana's Twitter page, it blasts a $10,000 donation made to an independent expenditure from Brewer's wife, Irma Gonzalez. Gonzalez, a retired federal judge, donated to San Diegans for Better Justice, a political action committee formed to oppose Dumanis. Gonzalez called me and emphasized there was no coordination with the campaign. That would have been illegal. I made it from a separate account, my account, that he has absolutely no control over. He has no idea even what the account number is. So just to be clear, no coordination, nothing of that sort with the campaign. Absolutely not. The online back and forth continues with this news release from the same Twitter account saying Brewer was holding a news conference about his donors. Turns out it was an April Fool's joke. Dumanis' opponents are tying her to a donation made to a PAC supporting her then bid for mayor. Prosecutors say that donation was illegal, coming from foreign national Suzumu Ozano. Dumanis said she knew nothing about it. It'll get much uglier. Uh, again, a lot of accusations are flying out there already. Melissa Masiha, 10 News. Brewer's communications director said that Gonzalez's donation was a legal public donation made for the whole world to see. As for the April Fool's joke, Brewer is demanding an apology because he says it came from Dumanis' office.